Alright, this is no longer my test world. Do you know where I am? Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Code With Me. I guess this episode is really not going to be about coding with me, but to basically show you my progress on 4.0, and it's getting really, really close. I know I've said that every time, probably for the last few videos, but no, really, I think I'm getting close. So, do you know where I am? Alright, this is no longer my test world, but I am at Green Horizon Station of the Sandtown server. So why am I here, you might be asking, and why does the world look like Swiss cheese outside? The answer is because I am working on world migration, and this also means that I have been able to migrate the whole world over to 4.0. So this is a very big milestone, which means that from now on, you can use your existing worlds with 4.0 and stuff should copy over. There are some small things, however, that don't fully copy over, so just use it at your own risk. Whoa, these blocks here used to be from a, another biome mod that adds extra types of wooden planks. I remember this floor used to be some sort of wooden planks from another mod, but that mod is still in 1.16. I think there's a version for 1.18. Though, yeah, I haven't replaced anything because I'm on 1.20 right now. Okay, so we are on the Sentin Grand Circular platform right now. Let's go one station to Sentown. These trains are already running. I've only refreshed certain depots, but I've also... Actually, let's get to Sentown first and I can keep talking. This all feels very surreal to me, like I would never have imagined that Sentown, this server, will be ported over to 1.20, like ever. So as you can see, there are still some bugs that need to be fixed. For example, this should say anti-clockwise via playcert, instead this little arrow symbol is displayed. The arrow symbol is used for like the one bus away endpoints, but it got copied over to this code. <laughs> it doesn't matter too much, it's just a visual thing, but there might be some more significant bugs down the road. So this is the main Sandtown lobby. Again, stuff might look weird because, because of missing mods and stuff like that. RGB blocks is another one of those big mods that didn't make it up to 1.20. You can see all the light rail here and stuff too. So, one change that I've introduced as well is a new command. So if I type slash generate, this command will optionally take a name field. So what this command does is you can generate a bunch of depots at the same time. So this is useful for if you've just migrated over a world to 4.0 and you don't want to click into each depot. Like if your dashboard has like 50 pages of depots, you don't want to click into each one and click refresh because that's going to take forever. So instead, I've added that generate command. Let me show you how it works. So my screen is a little small here because I'm putting it side by side with my server console. This is Shockbyte by the way. If you want to host your own server using Shockbyte, it is very easy to use and it's pretty powerful. Look at my MSPT, it's only 4.8 right now. Given that there are a bunch of 4.0 optimizations and the server can handle a bunch of stuff at the same time, but if you want to use Shockbyte to host your servers, you can use the code MTRMOD to get 25% off your first month. So let's test out the generate command. So let's say I want to generate a bunch of depots with the name Sentin in it. Well, actually, I don't know if it'll work with spaces. Oh, I guess it would. So, what's happening here? You can see in the console, it just started path generation for all the depots matching the word sent in in it. So let's try something else. Generate Hongyi. Is there, are there any depots? Yeah, so these depots with the name Hongyi in it got generated and if you just do generate without any names after it, then it's just gonna 
<laughs> generate for all depots. So soon the console is going to spam out all the names of all the depots in the world. At least when they're done generating, it's going to print it out. So look at all these. All these depots just finished generating in a split second. That's how powerful 4.0 is. And the pathfinding has also been improved. I don't know if I mentioned that in one of the previous videos, but I'm really impressed about how fast these routes are being generated. And they're all successful as well. At least I don't see any failures so far. Sometimes it'll say failed to generate for a certain depot. Earlier when I tried to generate the depot for the space line, there has been issues. So maybe let's try generating sp the space line depot. See if that... Yeah, path not found for space line. So I'll probably have to take a look at the tracks to see what's going on with that. Anyway, the generate command is very useful for, for migration as well as if you want to regenerate your routes on a schedule or with command blocks or whatever. I don't know why you would want to do that, but that's available. Right now, the permission is set for OP level 2 and above only, so not everyone can just run the command. For, of course, for like, security purposes. Alright, so for the rest of this video, I'm just going to be exploring around Sand Town and walking down memory lane, I guess. Just kind of talking through my favorite spots and just visiting them with 4.0 and seeing how much the performance has improved. Look at my FPS in Sand Town. It's already pretty good. Like, I do feel a little bit of stuttering. I can at least get 15 FPS, which is not great, but also not bad for this very central station. And look at the MSPT. It's only like 5. <laughs> Remember when we were playing Sandtown and it would spike up to like 40 or 50 or even 100 MSPT, that was crazy. Can't imagine that we would be living through that back then. But now here we are with great FPS. Alright, so it looks like since we just refresh all the depots, it's gonna take a while for the trains to cycle through the system. So I guess I will come back soon and continue the video. While we're waiting for the server to, I guess for the trains to run through, let's take a look at the system map. So I'm using this IP address. This is actually forwarded to this server right here. So this is also publicly accessible if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna keep this server open and I'm going to let everyone know how they can test this server as well if you wanna jump on this old Sandtown world running in 4.0. And I'm going to release details about that a bit later because there's some last minute details that I still need to work out. However, I will post that in due time and I do want everyone to start testing this as well. So right now I'm at Chonghao Street. Sen Town and Chonghao Street are all connected. Like out of station interchanges, I guess. Um, yeah, this is... There's a lot of different settings in this new system map, and you notice that the frame rate is much better too, so I can freely drag stuff around, and it doesn't lag like the old map. So, dark mode. I don't like dark mode personally, as you can probably tell from all my other videos. Anyway, you can hide the train layers, show the light rail layers as hollow and the high speed as well. Sometimes I like to do that. There's a lot of options th there. So right now I'm at Chonghao Street, waiting for the Seattle Express, which comes down to Seattle Center and Golden Gardens. This is like one of the first lines that I've built on the server, and so it really brings back a lot of memories. And Space Line is not working right now, but I think Golden Line might be working. So let's go down to Golden Gardens first and check out... Oh, I should be on that train. Yeah, let's go check out Golden Gardens and the areas around that. So these signs have copied over for the most part. I don't know if this is supposed to be all blank, but I'm not sure. I'm also might be using quite an old version of the Sandtown resource pack, so maybe I'm missing stuff too. Hmm, I don't remember these platform blocks not... Like this platform not using platform blocks, using stone. 
Because look at that side. That side's using platform blocks. But this side's just using smooth stone. Also, the clock is stuttering like that. Single player doesn't do that. Only multiplayer- well, only this server right now is like this. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Alright, anyway, the train's here. Still using these Sound Transit C1141As. I remember Eric did this such a long time ago. And remember, we have the new hitboxes on these trains. So you can't actually walk on the seats, you just be pushed to the sides. And like, see, I'm trying to walk through right now, but I can't. I have to go through the actual middle. Which means you also can't get off the train if you're, like, trying to get off through the window as well. You can only get off at the doors. Oh, what's going on? I think when the chunks are loaded in for the first time, there's a lot of migration that's going on. Actually, let's pop out at Seattle Center. Let's check it out. Check out the station. But yeah, I was saying... All these chunks that used to be like, see, these chunks used to have like the old world formats before the platform screen doors weren't even converted to tile entities yet. So, ooh, they're quite glitchy. But once you update them for the first time, they'll stay, they'll stay updated and they'll be fine. So you just need to reset them for the first time and then they'll be fine from here on out. Also, if any of the stations are using RGB blocks or any missing mods that you have, the first time you load them in, it's going to be slower, and then later on, they'll be fine. So that's probably what was going on as well. I was riding the train, because as the chunks are loaded in, the console keeps saying like, oh, missing this block, missing that block. So not a big thing I'm concerned about, but there's just... The world just has to migrate, that's it. I am not sure why this passenger information display isn't showing anything. I'm a little bit concerned. Why isn't it automatically detecting the nearby platform? Hmm. I don't know. But, well, this is a frequent line, so there's going to be trains. I've forgotten how short this train ride was. And this underwater glass tunnel, <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, we're at Golden Gardens. I remember this platform, this station has two levels of platforms. Because of the way the Seattle Express is set up, it changes, yeah, it changes into this line when the train comes down here. And then it goes to Old Sandtown. And then from Old Sandtown, it goes to Dunettle. And then Dunettle comes down to Chonghao Street and then to Golden Gardens. So to get the Seattle Express, was it east or west or south? I forgot. Yeah, Seattle Express East, then you have to go back to the other platform to go back. Anyway, <laughs> so many memories. There is also a hidden level here, I remember. What's this block? Why is there a gold block here? Hmm, okay. I'm gonna try not to touch as many things on this server as possible, because when I'm doing some testing, I'm probably gonna reset this world quite a few times to the backup that I had, so I can test different things and like, if I don't like the presets of the PIDS, for example, then I can reset the world and let it generate itself again. So just a heads up that I might be doing that after I release this world, this server to the public. I'll probably have periodic resets, so yeah. I'm on the golden line now. We're running mini K trains. I hopped on the eastbound train. So the next station will be Aurora Village, I think. And then after that, what what station is next? Beacon Hill, right. Beacon Hill. Oh, let's go to Wakanashi Terminus. Yeah, I think that's one of my... One of the stations that I really like as well because... I guess because I <laughs> contributed to building the roof and stuff. Renovating it as well. But yeah, let's... Let's check out here as well, Aurora Village. This is also one of my very early stations that I built. The space line comes here. We also have the ghost city that stops here as well. So let's go upstairs. This is like the 
orb-shaped ceiling that I made. Wow. Too bad the space line isn't running. They're running two-car mini M-trains. Wow, that was $4. Okay. Yeah, this is Aurora Village. Wow. I've taken so many screenshots and stuff here. At Beacon Hill, too. Or, I mean, where were we earlier? Golden Gardens. One of my very first YouTube videos was shot there. Wow, there's so many memories. I keep saying that, but it's true. Okay, so this way goes down to the north-south ghost city, whatever it's called. I remember doing an elevator tutorial over here, but of course the lift isn't here anymore. <laughs> oh, what is this line? This is the... Oh, I just forgot what this... Oh, Aurora line, that's right. So, I don't know why this is doubled up like this. Hmm, the root rendering is a little bit weird. But then down here, we've got the Ghost City Express. Yeah. Ghost City Local and Rapid. So this is the terminating platform, so that's why there you can't go down. Ah, the smiley face. Anyway, this side is the departing trains. I won't go down here yet, because we were just here. Yeah, there's still a, a few small issues with 4.0, but we're getting really close. The fact that I can comfortably play on this server... Look at my MSPT, that's crazy. Given how many trains they're probably running right now. My MSPT's 5.5. Thanks to Shockbyte again, if you want to host your own server. That's a shameless little advertisement. You can use the code MTRMOD to get 25% off your first month and have a server like this again. So I don't want to take this train because it's going back to Green Horizons. And this this is going way up north. So I don't want to do that right now. So let's go to the Aurora line maybe. But I did say that I was going to go over to Wakanashi Terminus first. So maybe I'll do that later. Alright, so back to the Golden Line. Enough of this detour. Oh, I just missed the train. So let's kind of plan out where we're going to go. So Beacon Hill. I'm not going to take the Hong Yi Line because I remember the frequency is pretty low there. North-South Rapid takes me directly there, so I'll probably jump on that. The Far East and Mystic Tong Ming. Let me check the map. I think all of them go to Wakanashi eventually. So the red one is the Mystic Tong Ming, goes there. But the Express is the purple one which goes directly there. And then the light blue goes to Marshall Paxson. So it doesn't go to Wakanashi, although you can take the Far East down. Yeah. Oh, looks like I just missed the train. But it doesn't matter. The next one's coming really soon. If you know me, then you know that I really like frequent and fast trains. And I don't care too much about realism as long as it's fun. <laughs> Which means I'm using 300 km per hour tracks as well. So, I mean, I get that that's not what everybody wants, but that's just one of the characteristics of the lines I built, I guess. Alright, so on to Beacon Hill we go. Alright. I'm having so much fun with this, if you can't tell. Partially because I miss seeing Sandtown, and partially because 4.0 is very close to completion because of the fact that I can literally just load up the Sandtown world and have everything basically work out of the box. Except, of course, I have to regenerate the roots, but yeah, for the most part, everything else converted in pretty, pretty well. Even the lifts. Except the doors, because they used to be tile entities, but not anymore. And I think I have a small bug with the up arrow appearing still, even though... Even though there are no floors above. So, you see that this lift works the same. Everything works. So I think if I refresh the chunk, F3 and A, yeah, the doors work again. So now the doors automatically close again due to popular requests from you all on Discord. Thank you for the suggestion. So now when lifts are at a floor, they will automatically close the doors again. So if I wait in here... Oh, also the... Yeah, if I wait in here, the doors will close automatically. Also, I can't get off the lift here. 
because I've added the boxes, the bounding boxes here as well. So let me show you again. So the doors are open, but I can't get off here. I can only get off through the actual doorway. Oh, the door's closed again, so I have to keep pressing the, the floor to open the lift back again. Anyway, this is the Hongyi platform. I, I said I wasn't gonna go down here, but I just... Oh, Airport Express, you see that? That's the Hongyi Express, I think. Yeah, so these are the Hongyi platforms. I said I wasn't gonna come down here. Because the frequencies are too low, as you can see, this one's coming in two minutes. That one's coming in one minute. This one goes all the way back to Upper Loop via Sentown and Financial Center. And then this one goes to Hinwa Wan, which is way down south that I don't want to go to right now. So, Hongyi is built by Ludwig. That was really nicely built. The stations are really nice. I remember Sushuki. Sushiki Station is one of my favorites because of the unique theme. Oh, just missed that train. Okay, this is a C train, retextured as a Q train or something. Whoa, 12 minutes, no way. Oh, are you serious? Or maybe it's just showing the scheduled departures. That's another thing about the passenger information display systems, right now at least. The customization is not fully finished yet, so right now it's only showing the real-time arrivals. Because this is like right in front of the depot, so when the before the depot spawns out trains, it's not going to show... Yeah, see? It jumped down to 30 seconds. It's not going to show the trains that haven't departed yet. I could add something in the future to allow showing scheduled arrivals, so not real-time arrivals, but just scheduled arrivals. But for now, this is good enough. So this train's going to come real soon, and we're off to Wakanaishi Terminus via Tongming. So maybe I'll stop at Tongming just to look around. Oh wow, this is an M train. <laughs> just now that one was a K train, but this one's an M train. Speaking of which, I saw a post, I saw a few posts on Facebook yesterday actually, that somebody saw an M train running on the Kuntong line even though they announced that there would be no more M trains on the Kuntong line. So that was pretty cool that people managed to catch one of those on the Kuntong line. I think what was happening was that a C train broke or something. I don't know if I heard this wrong or not, but one of the other newer trains broke, so they had to use a Kuntong line to temporarily fill it in. I think it only ran for like one time and then it stopped service. So that was a really rare occurrence, which was really cool to see. And in other news, the Q train is now in service for the island line, not so not just the Kuntong line. Oh, we're passing the depot. For this express. Yeah, to be honest, I still prefer M trains over C and Q trains. Even though Q trains has the dynamic display, which is pretty cool, but personally I still like M trains just because I grew up with it, I think. I remember when I was young riding the non refurbished M trains, and when the train breaks too fast, you literally Everybody slides across the bench because there, there are no ridges like these refurbished trains. They have ridges, so you might not slide all the way across that much, but with the non-refurbished trains, you can literally just slide all the way across if the train breaks too hard because it's the, the benches are really smooth. It's even smoother than the SP1900 ones, which is, which is kind of crazy why they would design it like that. All right. Oh, I... I forgot that the train slows down that much when we're pulling into Tongming. Because when I last refurbished it, I made it go super fast, 300 the whole way through. And then I think somebody else came in and refurbished it. And so it no longer goes 300. Let me get off the train because I do like Tongming Station as well. I think Forrest refurbished this when he was like getting the... Mystic Tongming line to work. I have no idea why the map keeps doing that even though the stations are the same. Hmm. Oh, why is the server restarting? I didn't program that in. 
Okay, yeah, this is the Mystic Tomming line going to GCN Peach Beach. Oh, I want to go down there and take the Mario Kart line. Oh, I so totally want to do that, but not right now, not right now. So I will go back to Wakanashi Terminus. Oh, actually, I could have hopped on this train, yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. I, yeah. Let's go to Wakanashi Terminus first, and then we can show other stuff as well. These used to be the old style lifts where they would use the elevator mod blocks. They were literally just blocks and then you would press space to like teleport up to the next floor. It wasn't half as cool as the ones in the mod currently, but it did the job. Alright, so the train's coming in about 10 seconds, but I gotta make sure the server doesn't restart on me. I think it might, so yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's just a warning message, but it's not actually going to restart. This time I got on a K train that looks like a Q train. Hmm. Alright, so wow, this is such a steep curve to Wakanashi Terminus. You can do some pretty good train spotting at Wakanashi. Maybe I'll do some of that. I think that was the M train that we were just on. I also remember that this used to be a through route with the Far East Line, but I think that got changed. Yeah, the Far East Line is over there while we are here. Oh, that's the Sentin Grand Circular, right? That train over there. Yeah, a lot of these tile entities didn't load in yet, so they're just appearing as transparent. So that doesn't matter, they'll refresh eventually. Wow, look at this. I remember taking so many screenshots here as well. Alright. Oh, one thing I didn't convert over is the exit sign rendering. So I need to remember to fix that. Oh, are the arrival projectors also not working? Ah, oh, I guess that didn't load in the default configurations. Alright, that's something else I need to look at as well. So let's see what trains are here. Alright, this is the Far East, and then this is the North-South Rapid, Sentin Grand Circular, the Light Rail, this is the Sunshine Light Rail, and then this is Tacoma High Speed Light Rail, I think. To, yeah. And then this one, what is this line called? Hmm, I forgot. Is that the Jonathan Express? It might be. Jonathan Local and Jonathan Express. Yeah, this is this is quite a hub, actually. So I did not like code in the light rail trains as a resource pack format in the mod yet, so you literally can't find light rail trains. You can't spawn them in right now. So the the sidings that use light rail trains, they're just not going to show up. So the countdown will still count down, but you see, the siding is empty. Because the light rail train can't render, because there's no base model for it. Whereas the MLR, the CAF trains and all of that is has been added into the base mod, so then they can be rendered. Wow, look at the ceiling. I remember designing this and going block by block. It was tedious, but it was fun. Yeah, notice in 4.0, the bogies move independently, not at the joints of the trains anymore, so the movement is much more realistic. All right, so from here, where should we go? Let's take a look at the map again. I'm definitely not going to be able to visit everything today for obvious reasons. Because this map is huge, look at that. Oh, Yunlong. Remember that? And then all the way Pennsylvania. And there's another city down here. Trenton. Trenton. Babylon. Babylon used to be the southernmost point of the server. Like everything was clustered here and then Babylon was just down here. But now... Pennsylvania. Bayswater, and that's really far. 
I don't know if there's another station farther for the express. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know where Acela went. Acela was the one that built these lines. I hope Acela's doing okay. Haven't heard from Acela in a while. Anyway, let us go to... I want to ride the Sentin Grand Circular, but I won't do that just yet. And the high-speed light rail isn't running right now. Wow, two trains pulling in together at the same time. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at that. Oh, I, re I miss... Like, sometimes I don't remember how much I miss Sandtown until I actually come back on and play around. Let's check the MSPT. Six point something. Pretty good. Okay, so back to the Mystic Tomming line we go. Is it this way? Is it up here? Oh no, this is just not in use. <laughs> Where is it? Is it over that side? Ah, this is the Jonathan line, yes. But the Mystic Tomming line is over here. So let's go up and keep going up. Yeah, this side is City Victor Center and GCN Peach Beach. So we're going south, so we're going to GCN Peach Beach. Oh, we just bypassed that other platform. Nice. This is one of forest lines on Sentown. This used to be a Kievan's line, but got taken over by forest and heavily renovated as well. Wow, forest really likes low frequencies as well. Forgot about that. So the next train's coming in over a minute. So I'm just gonna hang out and see you later. Let's just take a look at some trains down here. Oh, uh, looks like only a part of that train is being rendered because of my render distance. Also, I'm getting... Hmm, not bad, 20 something frames per second. And I'm also rendering these signs from really far away. So maybe if I make the render distance of those signs much shorter, then maybe I can render more trains and also save on some FPS as well. Then we can do some train spotting at the station and it'll look really epic. Oh, I almost missed the train. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Alright, so... Oh, the thing about these new hitboxes on the train is that you can't walk to the driver's cab anymore. Maybe I should update that. Yeah. It would be a really, really cool thing to do if you can walk inside the driver's cab just like before. Anyway, let's just enjoy the ride. Oh, how I miss MLR trains. Can't ride them in real life anymore, but good thing you can still ride them in Minecraft. Forest turned the acceleration so low here. Oh, this is Wakanashi South Town. I remember there is a statue of my wife and I down here. But if I get off this train now, I'm going to have to wait 11 minutes, so I'm not going to do that. But I remember there is a statue here, like a love statue or something. Alright, what station is this? Right now the next station announcements haven't been added yet, but I, I'd expect that uh, does, wouldn't take that much coding. That should be able to be added pretty quickly. This is Chongsha Station. Oh, look, I'm getting 60 FPS right here. Which is really nice. 60 FPS on Sandtown. The real dream is if at Sandtown Station I can be getting 60 FPS as well. But that would take a lot of optimization, which I don't know. Maybe one day we'll get there, but maybe there's also some Minecraft limitations there as well. There's only so much optimization I can do. I already am using Nemo's rendering hacks to make train rendering much better. So I don't know how much more I can improve with this. Wow, snowy desert. You don't see that on 1.20 world generations anymore. Okay, this is Wan Chai Outpost. I do want to get off here because there's a cable car line that I made. And I wonder if that got converted over properly. So let's go and take a look. 
Maybe not, maybe yes, but let's go check it out. This station is designed like a, an outpost, of course. Which gives it a really ominous... Oh, what happened? It gives it a very ominous, like, vibe. Am I being sucked into the train from down here? Oh, <laughs> that's a really, really far range. I need to fix that, definitely. Like, if I'm down here and I'm getting sucked onto the train, that's, that's a bug. I need to fix that. Okay, well, okay, let's exit the station. That was funny though. Accidental bug discovery. Okay, this is the cable car. I don't see any cable cars here. Hmm, I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to ride the cable car. What happened to the cable car? Did the path not get generated properly? Let's let's investigate this a little bit. Uh oh. Not many people made cable cars. Oh, for some reason, the cable car didn't get set. Okay, let's do Crystal Plus, because why not? Crystal Plus is the most transparent cable car there is. So I think the depot, I think it's all the way on the other side. What's this? Why, is there, why are the tracks like this? Okay, so I think the depot is all the way at DK Summit, so it's going to take a while for the cable cars to cycle through. So I'll see you back again soon. Okay, so as I was checking the cable cars, I just realized a very weird bug, or I just found a really weird bug, where past a certain point, the cable cars just disappear for no reason. So past that pole right there, See? All the cable cars just disappeared. And I don't know why. Opening up the dashboard and closing it does nothing as well. And all the cable cars suddenly, mysteriously all disappeared. And if I go back far enough, I think they'll come back. And like, as if nothing has happened. So anyway, let's pretend that we've We've been on the cable cars and we were heading back here to DK Summit Station. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know why. And I don't know how to troubleshoot that either. Is there a max number of cable cars that can... Mm, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to think too hard about it right now and just enjoy the world. Okay, so DK Summit, how do we exit? I think the only way to exit is through the station down here. Actually, there's an exit above as well. So this is a DK cliff, I remember. Don't go down there. And then here is the actual racetrack. Oh, I guess command blocks aren't enabled right now. So this is my DK Summit apartment buildings. I copied this over to Isert Estate for the Let's Play. So that's where they came from. I also did a lift tutorial here as well. I remember putting down some lifts somewhere somewhere here. I, yeah, I forgot. Oh look, there's the Mario Kart line train. So let's go take a look. This is the stands by the way for the, for the DK Summit map. The Mario Kart map. So you go through here, the finish line. All right, so let's go down to the trains. And Mario Kart line should be pretty frequent as well. Oh, I don't know why this is a whole minute wait, but it should be frequent. So let's go towards Mushroom Gorge and let's check out like a couple more stations and then wrap up the video because as much as I'm enjoying this, I have to go and fix some bugs and then probably come back and Play, play on Sandtown a bit more, because I really do miss it. Even though the quality of the stations are probably not top-notch, but it still brings back a lot of memories, and I really enjoy that. I've also built a lot of these lines as well, so that's fun. We were going 300. 
All right, pulling in into Maple Tree Way, we have some of the same apartment buildings over there as well. See? And then you can get the Aurora line here as well, back to Aurora Village. That's probably a shorter way to go back to Aurora Village if you're in a hurry. But I'm going all around the server right now. Those orange trees are made by station colored andesite, I think. Not real leaves that are orange. <laughs> okay, now I think we're going to be pulling into Bowser's Castle Station. Bowser's Castle has a cross-platform interchange with the Sentin Grand Circular, so the other Mario Kart line platforms are on the other side. Oh, we're lucky. Actually, we're not lucky because the train just left. <laughs> but we're lucky to see the train, but we're not lucky in that if we wanted to get the train, we would have missed it. And the other side also has a train. I don't think there are any M train and MLR cross-platform interchanges in the whole MTR system in Hong Kong. Okay, Mushroom Gorge here. I mean, N64 Sherbert land here. There's nothing much at this station, but there's this like extra part of the platform where I think I originally designed the platform for four car trains, but it ended up only needing two cars. I only needed two cars. I accidentally designed the platform too long. Wow, we're going really fast. We're going 300. And look, Shockbite can keep up with the chunk loading. It's crazy. MSPT did spike a little bit to load the chunks, but overall, I'm impressed by how well is the chunks are loading at 300. So remember, you can get your own Shockbite server. Just use the code MTRMOD. I usually don't promote Shockbite that much like this, but since I'm testing this huge world and it's not been giving me issues so far then i'm like really trying to sell this anyway we are approaching coconut mall one of my favorite builds on this server so far actually i like rainbow road as well but i think this is all we have time for today i'm going to end the video at rainbow i mean at coconut mall and then we can visit the rest in maybe another video, maybe you can come on and check it out for yourself. Who knows, but I'll post more information about this server in the future. So this is Coconut Mall. A bunch of floors still don't really have stuff yet. Oh, Bubby's fake estate. Not real estate. Okay. Oh, we have a food court area. The ceiling seems pretty low here. SPDF Nerds Rail Company office. Okay, so this is the outside of the mall. There is a opening ceremony that happened here, but I forgot for which line. Was it the Jonathan line? Jonathan Express? I forgot. Or is it the HSM South? I don't know. Anyway, this is Coconut Mall. This is back to the trains. And I'm gonna wrap up the video here pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your all your support throughout this whole development process. I feel like we're getting really close to the official release now. I'm not even kidding. The fact that I'm able to load the whole Sentown world just out of the box and have most things work. I say most things because there's still a few bugs to fix as I have pointed out throughout this video. But we're really close. And thank you for all your support and those of you helping me test as well. So look out for Discord for more preview versions and for instructions on how to join this server. I'm gonna post that in the next few days, hopefully. And if you want to support, remember that you can always go on Patreon. I really appreciate that. It only costs as much as a coffee, a cup of coffee each month or a boba. So yeah, any support will be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!